A WordPress website can do a lot of the heavy lifting for your business, and in this video, I'm gonna share the top 10 WordPress plugins that are gonna help your website help you. And in case you're new to all this, plugins are really just add-ons that help you extend what your website can do, and there's a plugin for just about anything you can possibly imagine, which is just one of the reasons why I love WordPress so much. And the best part here is every single one on this list is free and you can install them with literally two clicks each. The free plugins I'm gonna walk you through today fall into five main categories, website creation, search optimization, communication, security, and speed. So if you install all these plugins, you're gonna set yourself up for a seamless website creation process for you, an excellent user experience for your site visitors, and it's gonna help you rank higher in search and be found by even more potential customers or clients. So let's just get started with our first category, website creation, and our first plugin called Starter Templates. So if you've ever watched any of my website building tutorials, you know how much I love using WordPress with the Page Builder Elementor to create just about any type of website you'd ever want with a really easy to use drag and drop tool. And Starter Templates makes the process even easier. So when you install it, it automatically adds in the theme you need and the Elementor Page Builder in one step. But it gets even better because when you use Starter Templates, you also get access to all of these complete website templates that you can customize section by section so that they fit your content and your branding. You can even delete sections you don't need, add in new ones that you do, and it even comes with a working main menu that lets you go from page to page and then customize each of them. And you don't really get that when you just install Elementor on its own. So that one's super powerful. And if you're starting from scratch, it's my very favorite way to create a website with no coding or technical skills necessary. Now, my number two plugin in the website creation category is super simple. It's called Duplicate Page, and it does just what you think it does, right? Imagine if you have multiple services or multiple locations, and you wanted to make a page for each of them. Well, this plugin lets you just with one click create a duplicate of any page that you can then just edit that content but keep the same layout. So this is a huge time saver because you don't wanna to have to reinvent the wheel and remake three different service pages when you can just make copies and then swap out the content and keep the layout. So it saves time and helps you keep things nice and consistent too. Okay, so let's move on to the next category, search optimization. So. Every website needs Google Analytics to be able to track how visible they are in search and to get the information they need to be able to do even better over time. So there are quite a few analytics plugins out there, but the one I'm gonna recommend is straight from the source, and this is Google Site Kit. This one brings in all your analytics and even search engine console data right into your WordPress dashboard so you don't need to travel out to those other websites to see how well your website's doing. It just makes it really easy to connect your analytics to your website and see everything you need to know right at a glance. It's even gonna show you your page speed insights so you'll always know if your site's fast enough or if it's struggling. So it's just an awesome one-stop shop, basically. Um, so next up, the must-have plugin number four is actually my all-time favorite SEO plugin, Rank Math. So Rank Math is just an all-in-one tool that helps you optimize every single page of your website so that you can rank higher in those Google searches. And I do have a complete tutorial on how to set Rank Math up for your greatest chances of success, and I'm gonna leave that link right in the description below. But long story short, when you activate Rank Math on your website, you're gonna get all these built-in suggestions and indicators of how well optimized all your pages and posts actually are. And that really helps because when you know what you're missing and what to do next, it all just gets way easier to do. Now this one also gives you tighter control over important SEO settings on your site, including local signals that are even gonna help you rank higher in those map searches. Just a ton of really powerful stuff in there. I highly recommend adding this one if you think you wanna be found in Google search. Okay, so now let's switch gears a bit and talk about a few plugins that are gonna help your potential customers and clients actually get in touch with you through your website. So this next plugin is called WP Forms, 
and it's gonna let you embed a contact form like this one right on your website. So you can customize what information you wanna ask for, you can customize how it looks, and the best part is it's gonna send right to your email. This is so much better than just listing out your email address on your website for many reasons, right? It's easier for people to just fill out a form than to copy and paste your email, and actually listing your email address publicly is probably gonna to lead to you getting a ton of spam emails. It's happened to me, I don't want it to happen to you. So just install WP Forms and you can avoid all of that while giving your site visitors a really easy way of getting in touch or requesting a price quote or a consultation, anything like that. This is also a great free alternative to paying for Elementor Pro. So one of the biggest reasons why I actually promote people buying the Pro version of Elementor is that it comes with a really easy form widget. And to be honest, that is much easier to work with. But if you wanna save 50 bucks, then WP Forms is a totally fine replacement. But what if you wanted to give people another way of getting in touch and being able to ask questions on your website? Because the thing is, most people coming to your site today aren't ready to email you or call you yet. But guess what they're much more comfortable doing in those early stages of looking for who they wanna work with? They're more likely to engage with a live chat feature. And honestly, there are a ton of live chat plugins some free, some paid, but the one that I'm gonna recommend today is completely free, and it's something you're probably already familiar with, Facebook chat. Yep, you can actually add a live chat feature to your website that's powered by Facebook Messenger that you just connect to your Facebook business page so that when people get to your website and they ask a question in the chat panel, it's gonna go right to your Facebook Messenger app on your smartphone and you can answer them wherever you are, whatever time it is. So you can even set it up so that once someone's been on your site for a little while, it can open up with an automated prompt that makes it look like you're actually there, welcoming them in real time and asking them if you can help them with anything. And that's just a great customer service touch that can get that conversation going and conversations often lead to customers. But if you're not into Facebook these days, I get it, there's plenty of free alternatives like Tidio, but you'd actually just need to install their app on your devices so that you can answer those incoming questions. And that's really why I like the Facebook version because it's an app that I already have and I'm used to, and you probably already have it on your phone as well. All right, moving right along to our next category, security. So there's just one plugin that I'm gonna recommend here, and that's called WordFence. Because believe it or not, WordPress websites are actually pretty vulnerable to hackers, and this plugin does a really good job at stopping those hackers from getting in and you know wreaking havoc on your website. I actually had this happen to me about five years ago, and it was a complete mess to say the least. They'd gone in and they put these hidden links for like really spammy Viagra sites and stuff that basically made my website look really suspicious to Google and I lost a lot of my search engine rankings literally overnight. So what I had to do was hire a developer to go in and a developer I didn't know by the way, to go in, clean everything up and I had to pay him a couple hundred bucks to do that, so not fun, don't set yourself up for that. Just install WordFence, it's so much easier than getting hacked, trust me on that. Okay, and now we have another really important category and it's all to do with the speed of your website. And the reason it's so important is that people will usually wait for about two to three seconds max for your web page to load for them. If it takes any longer, they're out of there and Google knows that about people and they can really tell how fast or slow your site is. So if they detect that it's slow, guess whose website's not gonna show up very high in search results. And there are a lot of factors that can slow down a website, which is why we have three separate plugins for this category. And I will say before I get to the free plugins, if you'd rather just have one all-in-one speed solution and you don't mind paying for it, WP Rocket is great, but it is gonna cost you 50 bucks a year. So if you want the free alternatives, we just need three separate plugins to take its place. And the first one is going to compress your images and files that might be too big, which is a super common problem. This plugin's called Optimal, and it does a really nice job of taking all the images that you already have on your site, compressing them to the right size for the right device. So 
No more really big images meant for desktop slowing down your site for mobile visitors. They would get a much more reasonable size served up just for them. But it gets better because whenever you upload new images, it automatically does this for all of those two in the background. And it's also gonna save some load speed time when people first get to your website by implementing what we call lazy load. So you know how on some websites you'll start scrolling down and elements will load into place as you scroll down to them? That's what happens with lazy loading. So the reason this is good is because when someone first gets to your site, they're not gonna have to wait for that whole page to load. It's just gonna start with the stuff they can see right now at the top. Then once that's done, they'll start on the rest of the page. So even if the whole page would take a really long time to load, it's gonna feel really fast to people and you're not gonna lose out on that traffic. So that takes care of that. But there's another way to speed up a site called caching. So Normally, when someone comes to your site, your hosting server basically has to scramble to assemble all the pieces in the files into a finished web page. And this happens for every single visitor, which is not very efficient, right? So when you use a caching plugin like WP Fastest Cache, this assembly process happens just once, then that's saved and then that saved version, the pre-assembled version, is served up to every repeat visitor, and that just can happen way faster. And the next plugin to help your pages load faster is called FastPress, and it's spelled the cool way with a PH. So if you were to ever run an online page load speed test, you're almost always gonna get dinged on what they call render blocking resources. Do I know what that means? Not really, but simply put, it's like CSS and JavaScript coding that's just they're taking up too much space. The good news is you don't need to know what any of that means because FastPress does and they shrink it all down so it gets pushed out faster, pH faster. And while we're talking about making your site better, I wanna show you 10 real world examples of what websites are doing right and what they're getting wrong so you can see what works and what mistakes you should avoid if you wanna attract and convert at an even better rate. So click right here. It's gonna give you a lot of amazing ideas for your own website. So click here and I'll meet you there.